uh, while the situation is not as bad as it was in January, it's still we're seeing a very uh, disturbing trend moving forward. Our latest trends are showing some additional uh, troubling data. Uh, for example, the average age of our inpatients now, uh, before uh, say six weeks prior, uh, was around 70 years of age. Our average age of our inpatients today is 58 years of age. So obviously we're seeing younger patients get hospitalized with COVID-19. That growing number continues to be uh, concerning because we're also starting to see people even at the age of 20 and 30 years of age being uh, uh, either on either in admitted or even on ventilators. Um, also, the number of people that are on ventilators has increased as a percentage. Uh, earlier, we were seeing 20 or so percent of the inpatients on, on ventilators today, and over 30 percent of the patients hospitalized uh, are in our ICU. And, uh, and are really needing a lot more in terms of care than before. Um, we're again at a tipping point where we're starting to see a number of increasing cases. Uh, since um, uh, early March, we've seen an increase of almost 60% of inpatients. Um, simply put, we really cannot take another surge like we've seen in the past. Our health system uh, was uh, really uh, strained before, and we're very concerned that we cannot sustain another strain, that we continue to, to push the number of like we did before. Uh, the, the difficult thing is that our our patient or our team members um, were really uh, very close to burnout and at a breaking point, and we're starting to get some recovery from that. Uh, but with the surge we're starting to see again, we're obviously very concerned about, uh, about continuing stress on our, on our health system, primarily on our team members. Let me go through the slide.